I started shorting with $300 risk and it blew through my risk by 40 cents. So what I did was I added to my loser and that was probably the worst possible <laughs> thing I could have ever done because now I have double the size and it keeps going so now I'm really losing control of my emotions and I can't cut the loss, like I just can't physically do it. Just dug through everything, started with the DVDs, went through every single DVD and then got a little more advanced. I would watch all the video lessons, but then, you know, I got advanced. I started watching like Tim Grittani stuff because <clears throat> that seemed the most appealing to me because, you know, Tim Grittani, he made the most money, yep. you know, so that's kind of who I, I want to learn from. And then at the end of 2018, I was, uh, you know, I made a bunch more money uh, doing the valet. I probably had 20 grand at this time. And, you know, I knew I, that I had to get over the PDT. So how could I make another 10 grand before 2018. So me and my friend, we rented a mall kiosk and we ordered a bunch of uh, bamboo pillows, bamboo sheets from China, and we sold them at a mall kiosk. <laughs> nice. Through November, I love the hustle, man. Through November <laughs> and December. And you know, I was working, I don't know how many hours a day. I mean, you would be there from 6 a.m. to nine at night, mm -hmm. every single day for two months straight. And through that time, you know, I would just be sitting there waiting for a customer to come up and you know, do them the sales pitch and sell them the sheets and everything. And <clears throat> through that time, it was when the, you know, the stock started going crazy in 2017, yep. late 2017. And I saw Michael Hudson, he was, you know, short selling all these stocks on the green to red move. And that setup made a lot of sense to me. And I knew that was one of Gritani's favorite setups. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm going to open up a center point account. I'm going to, you know, short sell in 2018. So I basically just started short selling uh, come 2018 finished off the mall kiosk and <clears throat> from there it was just, you know, make 500, you know, lose 200 and I was, you know, consistently profiting yep. and I made two grand my first month trading. I was very prepared. I'd studied for an entire year. So um, the next month came, I made a thousand and then it just kind of was small gains throughout the months and April came, made four grand. So that was my best month and then I kind of, you know, I kind of wanted to chase like you know, that 10 grand month. Sure. <laughs> and <clears throat> I was doing all right, but I felt like, you know, I had to do better. So <clears throat> this stock, uh, Turtle Beach came along yep. and- H-E-A-R, yep. I started shorting with $300 risk and it blew through my risk by 40 cents. And immediately I didn't want to cut it because I would have had to take slippage to a $600 loss. Sure. And I wasn't really prepared for that. I hadn't taken a loss like nearly that size. You know, I'd cut two, $300. I hadn't taken a $600 loss. So what I did was I added to my loser. And that was probably the worst possible <laughs> thing I could have ever done because now I have double the size and it keeps going. So now I'm really losing control of my emotions and I can't cut the loss. Like I just can't physically do it. And <clears throat> and then remember just to, you know for the viewer you know so this is a this is a short position so number one never add to a loser on short Rule but number, number two one for <laughs> number two you know now that he's doubled down he's you know he's now losing as that stock continues to go up he's losing at double the rate he was before he added so now the emotions come in and it's like you know you're justifying and you're into prayer mode at this point probably but yep. <laughs> into prayer mode i was definitely praying <laughs> and then it basically you know i started shorting at 11 and i added at 12 and then it went to 13 and 13 was the previous day's high okay so i knew like this was ultimate risk yep. right if it went over to 13 we don't know how high it can go which is because that's where a lot of especially like long bias traders they're like, okay, this is breaking previous days high. Everybody knows everybody short this. I believe there was outstanding warrants. There was a lot of short sellers trapped in this thing. So once it breaks that previous day high, you get a lot more longs that are coming in. And so those are, that's your that's your your stop. Yeah. So So basically I trip I tripled down. <laughs> <after> the, after, <laughs> even though you knew it was the wrong decision. Even though I knew okay, it was completely right, wrong. Enough, tripled down at thirteen and you know, it started to dip a little bit. Of course, off the first breakout test, it always dips a little bit. Sure. Started dipping and I knew that I was holding really well. I knew that I had to cut it. And you know, I had my finger on the trigger. It was a $2,700 loss, right? Still not the end of the world. Sure. Could easily recover from that. And he, boom, right <laughs> through. And I just like walked out of the room. I was like, oh my God, like I'm all in on this one. Like whatever happens, happens. And you know, the stock just went full supernova to 19 bucks and mm -hmm. I was down like, 12 grand, 11, 12 grand or something. And 
thank God, like I came back, like I went for a walk, I cooled my head, and I, I talked to Gratani, I hit him up on the challenge shot. Oh, that's like, cool, okay. What should I do here? Like, I'm in a terrible spot. He was like, all right, you gotta think of the situation analytically. So over 19 bucks, I have to cover and I have to take the 12 grand loss. Or if it dips, then I'll just cover. So thankfully the stock dipped to 15 bucks and I covered for negative 7,000 and wiped out all my profits that I'd made over the last four months. So then I, you know, I kind of took a step back because I saw how quickly South short selling could go. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to comment below with any trading related question. We love answering your questions. Also, like and share with your friends and be sure to subscribe to be notified as soon as our next video hits. And if you're looking to expand your trading knowledge, don't forget to check out all of our other videos and be sure to click the trial below. Check out Stocks to Trade. I think it is one of the best, most rapidly advancing softwares out there. Be sure to check out our trial.